Now, presumably the reason I'm trapped in the future is because the time machine only moves forward. And so probably means a way to get back, which I'm sure Dr. Proton didn't exactly leave that possibility available. Except to have him follow him? I don't know. That's a question. Maybe we got hacked. Yeah, remember that second level in episode two? It's kind of like that. No background, no music, no tyranny until tomorrow. And lots of jumping and sameness. I'm sorry, but that's just the way of things. Uh, you know, I could say it's boring, but it's really relaxing. Uh, if anything, Wolfenstein 3D can be a case of boring and not relaxing. But, you know, I've, I've gotten used to it. Oh, shit, man. These guys, again. I want a nickname for these suckers, because they can kiss my ass. And anyone that kisses my ass needs a nickname. <laughs> uh, uh, this is like the most... This is the most coldly ham dialogue right now. It's like exaggerating except, say, completely calm and be like, yeah, okay, like that's a thing. Oh, I see the 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 fire is overlaying itself, and it didn't actually generate there when I know it was supposed to. So we're having some sprite difficulties right now. Please don't adjust your television set. Are you using you? Wait a minute, are you using a television set? No, you're probably using a plasma monitor. Okay, if you're watching this on a CRT somehow, I fucking applaud you because you somehow made a way to attach, you know, something like an HDMI cable, which I'm in no shortage of. I got HDMI cables out the ass into a CRT. That is not easy. I mean, even if you have the, the stuff to do it, the translation can be really off. You know, going from digital to analog is like going from decimals to fractions. It's not going to be completely one to one, except it might be 0.9 repeating decimal to one, which is a problem. But really more of a more of a problem with the language of math and math itself. You know, where someone says one doesn't equal one because it, it's really the notation. It's it's the limit of our ability to describe numbers, not the limitation of the math itself. The math is legit. We just can't write a third in a way that's easily divisible into a base 10. That, that's the that's the short of it. But if you had base 3, obviously it would work. So, I, I wouldn't even say it's because it's digital, it's because we're using base 10. And in games, I don't rely on base 10. I, you know, get a rely on shit like base 2, and usually, when you're editing stuff, you know, base 16 for hexadecimals. I got the balloon power, I got the green key power, I've got the power, I've got the brains, please bring the brawn, and the brass, that's the third one, if you're wondering, it's brains, brawns, and, and, and brasses, like, I guess it's like balls, but it's just, uh, you know, it's kind of the guile, the, uh, charismatic factor, you know, the tricky, the tricky dicky stuff. Uh, a time machine. Will I go even further into the future? That's what I was thinking, is that you just... I like this idea where you you travel to the future, but then there's like a chain link of other time machines in which you keep going further and further until eventually you've reached like the ultimate utopian society where everyone's ascended into energy beings. Right? Yeah. Yeah, it tur turns out sci-fi is pretty much my genre, so... Or, like, especially with um, detective fiction. So sci-fi detective fiction is an incredible combination, which is why I... Sub like, I would probably like... It's funny, because I haven't actually seriously paid attention to watching Blade Runner one time. I think it's because when I actually saw it for the first time, I fell asleep. That's not because it was a bad movie. I was just a kid, and I was young, and I slept. It happens, alright? I'm sure I can appreciate it a lot more now, if I can just give it a... Jingle. It's just I haven't gotten around to it. Just like I haven't gotten around to watching shit like Breaking Bad or Kirby Enthusiasm. Enthusiasm. Sorry. Just hasn't been on my things to do. I'm sure I could. Or rather just watching TV, rather. Even though I'll watch YouTube videos. Although with that, I can say, you know, you have the appeal of getting to know someone locally. Or it's because you need something more related to your niche or subject matter. In my case, that holds true. Very true. 
because we need to spread the DOS around. Also, when we get to December, um, can you guys spread around the hashtag of December? It's it's mostly so I can you know not worry about Christmas, but also get more people in the DOS. So if you lack the ability to get into DOS, um, try doing it during December slash December. And we'll see who's willing to hook you up, because I think this is just a thing that the local DOS community invented to be like, okay, you know, raise awareness of an old-timey IBM operating system that, you know, the appeal of a game like this, especially, is just, you're not just, it's not just action, okay? We got, like, point-and-click adventures, we got fucking real-time strategies, we got thinky, thinky games. We got text adventures. So, you know, it's really about addressing the abstract concepts into games which are never, you know, the new and budding various ideas that were tried in games or just derivative of, you know, the the Western ideal versus the Japanese ideal of linearness. You have what you could call is starting the non-laners with this stuff, but, you know, not fully realized until, like, what, Grand Theft Auto, which is for DOS, by the way. I think. Spin the wind, baby! Spin the wind! And, of course, you know, yeah, it would be for DOS, because Lemmings. Spin the wind! Oh, yeah, I was thinking of another DM uh, no. <laughs> DMX game. No, I've forgotten what they're supposed to be called now. But Rockstar North, in which their old name I don't remember, uh, invented something called Uniracers. Maybe you've heard of it. I was thinking of covering that. The problem is that game hurts my hands really bad. Hint, you'll need to find your super jump boots on the next level. And yeah, Uniracers hits my, hurts my hands really fucking bad. Uh, like, it hurts... No matter how many times I play it, it always hurts my hands. It doesn't matter what controller model I use. That's just that game just specifically hurts the hands because of how it needs to be played. It can't be helped. Oh, we're in some. Okay, so uh, it looks like we got some Morlock situation where we got future societies built underground. Also, the highlights. You know, that's actually realistic. Is um, not so much people living under the sea, but people just having lots of underground cities. You know, if we run out of room on this planet and we haven't gotten the fucking space yet, we should start by building societies underground and hopefully there'll be plenty of room after all the fucking fracking that's going on, right? So, you know, try to keep it sturdy and hope no earthquakes or shit falls on your fucking house. That's that's why you can see they're kind of built in to the ground here. You know, not just underground, like where there's space, but it's like trying to stabilize the stuff, so... You know, geology is be gonna be a hot fucking commodity, I predict. So, if you're thinking of a career choice, try geology right now. Especially if you if you do end up with some space astronaut stuff, because they're gonna need your input on all the different kinds of rocks they're gonna find out in space when they're trying to colonize. So, I'd say look into seriously go talk to people about what they know about geology and how they can apply to the to the future because it's gonna be a big thing and I think you need to be prepared for that shit. I, I am a forward thinking gaming wolf. Uh you know not so much about the uh what do you call that? The uh like what's that like the singularity. Yeah, I'm not really into that whole thing because that sounds like the big bang in reverse. <laughs> Everyone just becomes one. This is like, okay. But, you know, if the resources are more, you know, spread out in a sane way, it'd be a lot of good stuff we could do right now. And I'm, I'm sad that we're not doing that stuff. But also, elated that there is some stuff we could do now that I absolutely enjoy, such as being doing this. So I can be content with what I consider a career. Not really a career. I mean, okay, it's more of a career than a job. That's true. You know, just a life path. And Duke Nukem is a good re <laughs> representative of that. Oddly enough, the games are. Not Duke Nukem himself as a person, because that's supposed to be a pastiche. In fact, if you have a hard time differentiating fiction from reality, you should probably just get off this channel now, because I don't even know what you're doing on the internet. You'd never be able to survive. Shoot this guy! Shoot him too! 
Speaking of fiction versus reality, be careful with the whole parasocial stuff in social media because people are trying to put on a persona on the internet. And not everyone has time for you just because you like them. Which which is also sad, but then it comes a question of how do you know who's reaching out? Well, I don't actually know. Maybe I'll reach out to you. Maybe I won't. Who knows? That's certainly a future. A future I can believe in! The future is underground, my friends. In more ways than one. Listen to some... <laughs> Although, the idea of 90s undergrounding music's doing the opposite of being underground is kind of darkly hilarious, even though it led to, like, you know, suicide and uh, a complete admonishment of calling it edgy and stuff. Which I kind of mock. So when I see something really cool and radical and people are like, Ah, edgy! I'm like, not, not quite. Duke, I see you wherever you go, and I have devised many traps that will end your mission. Isn't that something you could say at the start of Duke Nukem 1? I, I, f I think I already know that about you. I was looking in some text files regarding what he says on the monitors, and there's actually some unused messages. I checked, and they're all mostly in, in episode 2, where there's just missing monitors. I, I don't, I don't freaking know why. But there's like, it, I, if if someone works for the cutting room floor, or something, as anyone anyone who knows about that, I'd like to drop those texts there for somebody. Does that seem all right by you? I don't. Act, I've never actually used a wiki. I mean, I've used a wiki, but I've never actually written for a wiki before. So I'm wondering if that's something I should be doing. You know, what I'm really helpful for, like. I'm not going to say I'm a writer, but something like tip of my joystick where people are having a hard time figuring out what how to identify a game. And, you know, I could point it out to you, figure out how to make it work. That, that's, where, that's where the game with Hotline comes into play, as opposed to, like, uh, what, Nintendo Power Hotline, where it's like, ah, help me figure out this game. No, I'll make you sure it runs for you. Figuring out's your own business. Mostly because of the whole, I gotta do it blind, or I gotta do it with no hands or you really don't have hands and you're blind and you're still trying to play video games in which case kudos Mr. Man oh is that the end already? damn I was having a good jaunt of discussion right now but sadly I'm gonna have to cut myself off there yeah we're having some thoughtful times here today Look for the time transfer machine to help you solve the next level. It, it's just a matter of you're, you're going to need a teleporter. Like, it's a general thing, but in this level especially, in case you're lost. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I've been... I, I just keep getting super reflective. I can't help myself. Just like how vampires aren't reflective. See you next time.